The Strait of Georgia is considered to be one of Canada's most important waterways. Natural Resources Canada have been uh, researching this area for years, specifically in the fields of sediment dynamics. This covers dredge disposal, climate change, the natural erosion and deposition of the delta, the geological processes that take place, and we've made uh, several large attempts to understand what causes the failure on the delta slope. There is a lot of infrastructure on the delta front susceptible to slope failure. There's also an important ecosystem nearby, a glass sponge reef, which is quite a, a rare uh, ecosystem. And we need to understand how sedimentation affects that, how natural sedimentation affects it, as well as how altered sedimentation from man-made projects might affect the reef. We're fortunate that the University of Victoria has laid this cabled observatory in the, in the center of the Strait of Georgia, which, to which scientists can connect their instruments and we've extended their cable to bring it up onto the delta and we have a node now on the delta front. We can connect high bandwidth instruments and collect much more data than we used to be able to and all the time measuring data at, at sub-second sample intervals. With this information, uh, we'll be able to determine exactly what is leading to these slope failures and uh, in the future we hope to actually be able to predict them and to uh, warn the authorities that a failure may be imminent. It's very exciting research, it's, it's pioneering, it's on the forefront of science. I can process the data on timescales of seconds to years, um, which has never been possible before. The Europeans are now looking at Canada as the leaders in this field. Uh, we now have Venus and Neptune, and Natural Resources Canada are part of both of those projects.